Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ammo Bus Videos YouTube channel. I'm Ammo Bus Videos, otherwise known as Ammo Central, depending on what day of the week and what video you're watching. And welcome to Charter Road Estate in Yorkshire County's 3.0 with this incredibly exciting bus. It is, once again, one of my favourite vehicle types, the Studio Polygon Beat and Bailey Renown. Absolutely tremendous uh, model. It's um, been sort of modelled around the real life vehicles to such a high degree um, that the, the performance from um, how it drives to the door opening delay, everything is realistic to one of these in real life. I'm not speaking from personal experience. But we're driving this bus again. I'd love any excuse to drive it um, because we're in the lucky position where, once again, Amethyst Studios, previously this is Alex, has released their Transdev Burnley repaint pack. And we had the Harrogate repaint pack, the Transdev Harrogate, Harrogate Bus Company, Harrogate District repaint pack a bit ago. We did quite a lot of videos around that because I, I absolutely love the repaints by Amethyst Studio. Um, I just, I love the styling on them. I love the relatability on them. I've got many stories to tell you about the liveries. Um, and now the burn one out is, is out as well. I'm incredibly excited for hopefully the upcoming potentially Keefly ones, hopefully Blackburn ones with the valley lines and the old Keefly in district blue and white, like toothpaste style liveries. Um, and potentially, hopefully, um, a tad faster slash Yorkshire coastline, a 10.15 would be quite nice. But again, we'll enjoy what we've got now, but hopefully they have exciting stuff um, that potentially, if Amethyst Studios is interested, we could be seeing very, very soon. So this is the iconic mainline livery. Now, the mainline brand um, was is the main routes um, that run across between Paddenham and Colne via Burnley and Nelson. Now, the routes at the moment are operated by Optair Versus. However, um, they were, they used to be, um, from about 2009 onwards, they were operated in this livery, in this style brand, by Renowns and B7 Hourly Eclipses. So you'd either get an Eclipse 2 in 1800, or you'd get one of these lovely 10, um, 1000 series beaten BLEs. They were all refurbished inside for the service, um, heavy refurbishment took place, and they all wore this very stylish livery. Now there's two variations of the livery in the repaint pack, um, there is the 2009 one that we're driving here, and the 2017 one. The main differences between the two, and the main differences between the livery at the time, 2017 um, was just prior to withdrawal of most of these vehicles, some were redeployed on the main network, um, some weren't. Um, but the 2009 one features this um, little sticker, the old Metro West Yorkshire one. Now, yes, Burnley is in um, Lancashire. However, oh, we are actually quite late. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually making a move round. Um, so, yes, Burnley is in Lancashire. However, the M4 service operates um, into Keighley, as done for quite a while, used to be numbered the 25, then got re redone to the M4 as part of like mainline 1, 2, 3 and 4, and that operates into West Yorkshire, and at the time of this, um, Metro were a little bit stricter about all of their vehicles um, that go into, um, go into West Yorkshire to have to feature, that's the wrong blind, Let's get the right one up. It's market stand free we want. Westbury market. Stand free. Excellent. There we go. Um, so, so even though it was only one of their services, all of their mainline vehicles had to carry this little sticker on um, to denote um, they accepted the West Yorkshire tickets within the West Yorkshire boundaries. So, cool little fun fact there. I'm not loading up the machine. I'm aware it's not loaded up. Um, that's because I, I cannot remember the code. And in the nicest way, I'm running late enough as it is on this run. So I need to catch up my time. So I always thought the mainline livery was really stylish. Um, I was over at the time that um, these vehicles were drawn. They were replaced by Optair Versus. 
Um, it was quite an interesting period because basically, yes, there were eclipses, eclipse twos about, um, but even though quite a few of them um, got mothballed for a while, um, and it was more or less the B10s that ended up seeing more immediate use um, predominantly. Um, everybody was obviously interested in the renowns. Um, so the last few days of the Renowns operation before the Versus entered service, um, everyone, um, every enthusiast locally um, was up in the north of England sampling these B10s because the services were every seven minutes or better. Um, and it just be if you timed it correctly, it was just renown after renown after renown. The, even in 2017 was becoming quite a, a rare thing to sort of experience. Um, predominantly due to the sort of PSVIR requirements that had come in that meant quite a lot of the renowns, the earlier ones, that were in compliance got withdrawn a few, a few years prior. So um, having a, a route with renowns on average every five to seven minutes uh, that you could just ride up and down was, was quite a unique experience. Um, so I remember it very, very well. Um, at that time as well, they also had a white um, base, white with Transdiv logos, um, renowned there, I believe they had one or two of them. They had a Lancashire United one, number 1047, that I believe then ended up in York. That was also an operation um, on um, the main lines that, that day I went. I remember, to be fair, 1047 in Lancashire United livery. Um, because it actually, um, actually ended up in York, um, bizarrely out of everywhere, I ended up doing the um, 31X a lot um, alongside another Renown, um, which the fleet number escapes me. It might have been 1064, I think, or 569. Um, but they were basically the, the regulars on, on the 31X with Renowns. Um, and my main experience of sampling 1047, although I did do it on that day because it was the unique one. Um, as I also sampled it on the old city zap between Leeds and York. Now that was a that was an interesting experience. Um, I ended up setting off. I ended up setting off um, up to York on a random zap B7, only to be passed by this renown. So I waited about half an hour um, and ended up catching it back into Leeds. I, bought, I believe I bought two return tickets that day, um, purely so I could sample a, a renown on the, the A64 and the M1. It was a unique experience. It was pretty cool, um, I must say. Because there's no more renowns um, in York now, the final two B10s um, are in service, should I say, in public service. Uh, mainly, I think there's a there's a red York Pullman one that it very very occasionally pops up on the 37, but it isn't half as frequent as it used to be, as an occurrence. Um, it, it's it's quite unusual now. Um, but yeah, there's not much operational feat for um, for renouncing York anymore. The the main ones that used to be in use regularly were the Reliance ones that have since been sold. One of them, I believe, was scrapped. The other one was sold for preservation. Um, 1063 is in preservation. 1061 is still in operation in Leeds. Um, very, very nice motor to drive is that one. Um, so, yeah, I, I remember again, 1061 and 63. Um, they were two that to say that they're still surviving, they, they've got to be two of the luckiest buses going. Because they were actually um, some of the first Keyflow enhanced to be withdrawn um, when Keyflow started withdrawing them. Um, 1063 and 61 were, were the first, pretty much the first ones to go um, when the sort of the last proper mass withdrawal happened. Um, 1061 and 63 went, only to then get reinstated a few months later. At the time, Transdiv Keefley um, had their streetlights for the 500, the Hebden Bridge service, and they decided um, to get rid of them, send them over to Burnley for um, use on the local services. That in turn, the streetlights were then replaced off that 
by Renowns as well. So those two ex Keefler Renowns were replaced, um, Keefler Streetlights were replaced twice by Renowns. Um, and now they're, they're at Rosso. Um, they won't be getting pl replaced by Renowns now, but um, they are at Rosso. Going to be getting replaced, I think, by Melors um, out of absolutely everything. Oh. So the streetlights were, were replaced, um, the 1061 and 63 operated um, for a few months at Keithley um, and then were withdrawn again. But instead of sort of being withdrawn and scrapped and being stored like the rest of them, they were actually acquired by York Pullman. Um, York Pullman bus in a dealership fashion acquired them, knowing full well that the renowned bus type was a, a lovely type of vehicle to run, um, ideal for the school services, and knew full well that 1061 and 1063 had had a lot of work done to put them back on the road. Um, so we, even then they, they were 1061 and 63 being withdrawn the second time from Transitive Keefler were withdrawn before the last renowns came off in service. So they came back for a few months, then were withdrawn again, and by that time it was like the vehicles weren't... Oh! You, okay. Uh, sure. That was, that was interesting. But yeah, by the time they were withdrawn the, the second second round, there were still other renowns in service. I mean, 1077 was still in service. So they were prematurely withdrawn again. They weren't sort of on the last legs or had to be withdrawn as part of the time. They were just withdrawn again. So York Pullman snapped them up, knowing full well they'd had a load of work done to them to put them back on the road. They were really looked after. They were the most reliable ones, um, purely because they wouldn't have put them on the road again if they weren't. Um, they were out almost daily, they used to do work like the 60s for example, um, I remember doing 1061 on the, 10, on the, I believe it was Airline 60 at that time, um, already it was the early stages of Airline 60, um, did it all the way over to Shipley, that was a cool experience um, from Keefley. Yeah, they the passed to York Pullman, 1063 was then sold on to Reliance, 1061 was held on to by York Pullman, 1061 has then gone to Kilvington's um, and is now with Yorkshire Buses, and 1063 um, is now in preservation. So they're definitely remarkable survivors, um, those two, absolutely remarkable survivors. Because if it wasn't for Keith disliking their streetlights, um, and Burnley basically saying, oh yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, oh, Burnley saying we'll take them off you, then they, they won't still, won't still be around, but those two love the love them out, so. Sometimes random things like that do happen. Um, they, they were very interesting, very interesting story with them. Um, one vehicle that was um, a phenomenal shame um, to see scrapped out of the Renowns was 1077. Um, still work, with work in active kickdown. Um, it, it, it sounded absolutely phenomenal, um, the 1077. Um, it, from an enthusiast perspective, it, it just sounded lovely. Um, it was it was a shame when that one got scrapped. Quite a few people argued that it should have been preserved, but unfortunately, as is with um, the preservation world, unfortunately, if people don't present the money and they just do the talk and not the walk, then that's um, unfortunately where vehicles um, end up getting scrapped. So. We're now five minutes late. As I say, these traffic lights are not helping. I think they're trying to sense trams that aren't there. Oh, oh no, trams that are there. No, my apologies. Trams that are there. Um, <laughs> I will eat my words. Um, trams that clearly are there. 
I didn't realise I had transloaded it. Um, but we live and we learn with these things. It doesn't like it when somebody's trying to load in, in the door. It's because the doors on this one, it must be a, a random set bar where um, the doors are slightly staggered. Um, again, just like in real life for these vehicles, they, they can do that kind of thing. So you, you won't believe it, but in real life it is very standard um, for Renowns to do the same thing with the doors where you'll have to properly hold it down for the for the pressure to go for the doors to open or the doors to close. Uh, you, you do properly have to hold down the, the door button for a few seconds. Not like any other bus where you just click the button, um, tap it and they open, or tap it and they close. Um, and you do have to hold the button down for a few seconds and then they open. See if we can try and catch up a little bit of time because we are running rather late. But I do remember mainline very well. I always thought the livery was so stylish um, on, on the vehicles. It, it, I mean, even Renowns, it, it made the Renowns look really sleek. And they also did the thing with the um, headlights at the front um, that you will have noticed when I loaded the bus in. Um, they've done the thing, exactly the thing with, with headlights. It all just really, really looks sleek. Um, it looked really, really sleek. And the vehicles, I mean, if you'd have put essentially private plates on them, especially at the point in which they've just been refurbished, there'd have been absolutely no way that you'd have been able to tell that they were wire edge vehicles um, from a passenger perspective. They'd just be as comfy and be as warm and be as sleek looking in this livery with the headlights, with the interior refurb just like an Eclipse. Um, I, I, if anything, from a passenger perspective, they're probably better because you've got the family seating areas um, and the seats usually have a little bit more padding um, on the older older vehicles. So, Got to remember as well that they did have um, special colour destination blinds. Um, at one point, um, I believe they were predominantly supposed to be white, but I'm, I'm pretty certain they went through a stage where they they put some slight colour onto them, or the the blinds were definitely able to take colour, and they were definitely programmed so that they could have different colours on them. And I'm pretty certain at, at one point in time, very brief, they did have different colours on the numbers. I'm sure they did. Someone want to get off there? Oh no, it's just, it's just literally the the shadow of the of the branding. Uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd double check then, as it it's starting to look like somebody might have wanted to alight. That can be quite deceptive, especially if it's like a, a, a new look from that that angle. Just like a, a a child getting off the bus, for example, you you could mistake them. If they're wearing like a black t-shirt or something, you, you could definitely mistake them for that little bit of vinyl. Um, because you, you have the other bit that pops up as well where it's the emergency, emergency door thing. So it does it does give sort of the silhouette of a person.
It's been a while since I've done the 17. I, I had absolutely forgotten um, how long it has been since I did since I last did the 17. I used to drive the 17 a lot. That's why I, I was kind of reluctant um, to feature it in videos in more recent times because it's the only service that first bus operates on the map. I tended to just drive all the first bus liveries on it. Um, but I felt like mainlined would look cool um, on the run and I thought it has been a while since I've driven it perfect route length for the free time I've got as well so win-win situation win-win situation if we can get through these lines I'm very confused as to why we can't go now especially if there's nothing coming that way and they've stopped those lines No one noticed that the entire ground and world just disappeared for a split second there. Uh, that was definitely a, an OMSI 2 loading moment. Again, very confused as to why these lights are on red, turning left, when we could have just gone left. <laughs> gone left while the other lights are on green. Oh, in fairness, a bit confused as to why we need lights that are on red at all. Um, doesn't need to be part of the junction, really. Just for people crossing over. Well, there'll be some logic behind it. Uh, some logic. We are clawing back time slightly, so... Ever so slightly catching up the time. No, this is the reason you can't take double deckers on the 17. <laughs> this is this is the reason. If you ever wondered, that might be a nice screenshot. It looks okay. I mean the the lighting is incorrect, but so let's actually if I move it out a little bit, that. That looks good. Oh, like that. Yep, that's the thumbnail shot. There we go. <laughs> that's the thumbnail shot under that bridge. This is again what I like about the Studio Polygon Renown is you just get the best camera angles. Really, really do. Um, I love any vehicle that has the zoom in um, camera angles. Maybe you're zooming in like, you, like you've got a camera. It, it's... I love anything like that. I mean, that's all take me photos in real life. So, uh, I just absolutely love it. I, I treat it, treat it like I'm photographing the bus in real life. Minus the fact in this, I can kind of hover. Although I say that, I think this junction just follows on that way. 
looks a little bit confusing then. Those arrows should really just be forward. That was rather confusing. Yeah, just uh, go around the, the a warehouse. <laughs> go around the random warehouse. If you live in this house to the left, you've got the best view. Just a warehouse wall. 10 out of 10 view that. Renowns just sound so good as well. Um, the, the, the B10s just sound amazing. Really, really do. And there we go, past the first depot. Again, another turning junction that I just feel would be... I mean, we, we could have gone now. Um, but another, another junction I feel should just be a giveaway. Um, it'd make life a lot easier if it was just a giveaway. And we're doing very well for time as well. I always find that ice, you can rev them up, but it, it never lets you do a proper revving start. There we go, another 17. I haven't seen many of them to be fair. I was expecting to see a few more out of the house. I do like this area with the with the river flowing as well. It does look really cool. Oh, 
Alright, they're in Malfa time now. I do love driving these trans of spec ones as well because I, I have an absolute ton of memories um, of going on these and not not just obviously with the local ones like Keith for example um, and Harrogate but also doing sort of the York Tad faster, doing 1047 as I've already mentioned on the City Zap, further field the last few days of mainline um, and the, the renowned being on the mainline service done a few at the Burn the Bus Company and the locals when they replaced the street lights, the Valley Line 22s in Blackburn and it, it's just, it, the list just goes on, it, it's just everywhere you went in, in the Trans of Empire they, they used to be renowned, they were renowned for their high quality, um, pardon the pun, but they were absolutely tremendous motors and the, the Keithley School Bus Operation still uses them. Um, quite regularly, purely purely because they they're that good, that they don't want to get shut of them, and um, they're that reliable that they keep saying every year that they'll get withdraw they'll, they'll withdraw them all, but they've still got quite a few hanging on, purely because they're just such reliable vehicles that they don't want to replace them with anything on the schools. They've repl they've replaced all the seats, refurbished them for the school services and the motors are that reliable. They just seem they just see it as daft to replace them when they don't necessarily need to. The fan is going off slightly. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe flowing it a little too much. But again, the livery for me just brings back so many memories. And when I went to Showbus last year, there is a um, renowned preserved um, down south, um, and it's been repainted into full um, sort of transitive Keithley and district livery. Uh, the old Blazefield Transdev crossover period one and it just looks absolutely phenomenal i mean it just brought back so many memories um seeing that livery uh, it was alongside the team Pennine eclipse as well and it, it just looked absolutely gorgeous it really really did and as i said brought back loads of memories for me i, I had family in in case i used to go over loads and Photograph the buses at the bus station and see all the all the different vehicles, including renowned in that old livery, and it was just so cool to so cool to see a bus um, as, as being repainted into that livery, and the livery still survives. Now these were the lights that confused me last time. So they're left only. So I don't know why we're not going forwards. Because that bit, it make a little bit more sense if we could go at this point. The joys of traffic lights. Only, honestly, in this map, I do not understand them for the life of me. I don't get how they function and why they function. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, why the, the, the ahead only on this side just couldn't just go. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. We're going to get to the stage once again where I'll just go because it's like that. There's clearly, a, clearly a, a traffic light missing now. There's clearly a traffic light missing.
every time I come from a town and back, we'll get stuck at some absurd traffic light. Uh, and then it's on to crawl it back again. This is also relatable from real life. What a good place to park a car. So there we go folks, so that was the 17 service um, from um, Charter Road Estate to Ashbury Market. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do um, stick around on the channel. Um, for more Trans the Burn the Repaint Pack videos, there's quite a lot of repaints in there, quite a lot of history, quite a lot of stories to tell um, that should be quite cool. If you've got any route suggestions, do let me know as well. But for now, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Amorbus Videos YouTube channel for um, more content from the simulation section, as well as an archive of around 6,000 backseat and engine focused public transport videos from the UK and beyond. For buses, trams, trains, and more, there's something on there for everyone with an additional 21 videos added per week, alongside two OMSI 2 videos every week as well. There's a lot to um, look forward to on there. Once again, though, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye.